welcome to my demonstration. I'm Pauline Foster, I'm a NAFAS area demonstrator, judge and a national teacher. When I was trying to decide what to do today, I looked in my shed and I came up with this, which was a basic metal container. I also found a roll of this nice coloured mesh in a lovely claret colour. So I've wrapped around three times with the mesh around the container. I also found at the same time this felt, which I thought was a beautiful colour match. And so to finish it off, I've just gone around the top a couple of times with this. So this again came from the wholesaler. <clears throat> it occurred to me that if you didn't have a container like this, you could use something like my box. This came through the post the other day and it could be covered with a nice paper or fabric and maybe put inside a plastic um, container for cornflakes or something like that to hold the water. Because I've scrunched up inside of here some of this plain mesh and you need to be very careful if you're using this because it's very sharp. So use pliers to turn over the sharp edges and gardening gloves to scrunch it up. So that's gone inside and obviously topped up with water. So to begin with, I'm going to use this curly cane, which I also found at the same time and decided it was a really good colour match. So I'm going to hook this over the front to give me nice movement. And I'm just hooking it in at the bottom so that it gives me a decoration at the front of the container and it matches beautifully with the colours. So to extend that line upwards, I've got some straight canes here. Um, and these were again coloured when I bought them. But it occurred to me that you could, if you wanted, use a snow ordinary garden cane and maybe some contorted hazel or something and spray to match to get a similar look. So for my plant material, I'm using garden material. And the first thing is this gladiolus. So I'm going to put this against the upright. And just to make sure that it stays up there, I'm going to wire it. Because once I start to push in other material, it may well slip. So just to secure it, I'm going to wire just gently, a very fine wire around the top to hold it. So I have a second gladiolus, which will go down lower in the design. So I may need a little bit more off it than that, so let's just take a bit more off. So put this in at the side and push it well down into the water. Turn that around. And at the other side, I'm going to put in a formium leaf, a lovely dark, shiny leaf. This is going in here. And I'm going to thread it through between the canes, again, to secure it. Just giving me a structure through which to work. <clears throat> now for the rest of the plant material, I've chosen some of this Cotoneaster, which grows at the back of my conservatory. It's been an absolute picture all year. You can see that it's now heavy in um, berries, but it's had wonderful pink flowers on all summer, which have been a great attraction to the bees. So I'm just going to cut this and bring it out to the sides of the design. It's very heavy with berry at the moment, which is good because it's making it arch nicely for me. So I'll take some of the longer ones to begin with 
and to as I say just bring them out to the side so getting in a basic structure and then we can work around it some slightly towards the front, some nearer towards the back, so that we're getting plenty of depth in the design. The shorter pieces I'm going to snip and bring out towards the front and the back, so that we're getting a good three-dimensional design. <coughs> Small pieces going in front and back. I need to strip off some of the material at the bottom of the stems so that I can push them well into the water and they can drink easily. So I don't want lots of leaves going into the water. Well, the second foliage I've chosen is Senecchio Grayi, a big favourite of mine because it has such lovely soft colours, pale silver on the back and a darker green on the front. So again I have some branches which are arching which will help me to follow the existing line of the design. Again, bringing some towards the front and to the back. Very useful plant to have, Senecchio Grayi. It uh, is around most of the year and goes with most colours. It looks beautiful with pinks and pale colours and is good foil for the darker autumn shades. But before I cut any more of this in, I want to put in another Senecchio, but this time it's the angel wing. I adore this plant. I think it's absolutely beautiful. It has a lovely soft downy texture and it just glints in the light. Very, very useful for flower arranging. Unfortunately, I discovered that the insects also like it and they've been nibbling away at some of the down and spoiling the leaves. But it just helps to offset um, the focal area, which is what I'm working on now. So <clears throat> I've got some quite short, as you can see, and some longer to go towards the back. Sweet little leaves, really pretty colours. I'm making sure that they're well down and we'll get a good drink. So I've got those in the centre and now I'll just finish off putting um, the other version into the rear of the design. So before I go any further, I want to get this other piece of curly cane in. I'm going to tuck it in there and try to line it up so that it will be a continuous line through the design. So you can see how that has offset the pink and shows it up beautifully. The <coughs> Begini leaves, again, a very, very useful plant to have, and I'm going to use these uh, towards the back before I get in any more of the flowers. So just making sure they're going well down into the water. Turn it round and we've now got a good basis uh, for the flowers to go in. So my flowers are Sedum, 
lovely pink cedar. Again, just following the lines of what I've already put in at the moment and following the curves out to the side. I've cleaned most of the leaves off the bottom of the sedum because they have gone quite yellow and as I've already said I don't want too many leaves going down into the water as it will um, make it quite smelly. So tucking these well in as I go. Now my main flower for this design is the hydrangea. A beautiful, beautiful bright pink colour on one side and lime green on the other. And so I'm just putting one slightly offset at the front. And the second one, I've taken off some of the florets to make it smaller because it was actually quite huge. So I'm tucking that in towards the back and facing slightly away from me. So, just, you can see here that how yellow some of these leaves have gone, so they need to come off. Now, because I've got quite a lot of um, fairly busy material, I want to calm that down by putting in some shiny apples and so I'm going to bring these down to the centre. I've put them onto kebab sticks so that they will hold in place. And then I'm just going to add a few more pieces of the sedum around them. So while I'm doing this, I'll just mention that um, if you look on the NAFAS North Midlands Area website, um, hopefully the clubs will soon have information about their meetings and exciting things going on. It's been very disappointing not to be able to go to clubs um, during the COVID incident and I've very much missed it so I'm hoping that we'll be able to do that again soon. So I'll just turn this round, I'm going to finish it in a second um, by just gluing on some florets from the hydrangea to come down on the curly cane just to bring the flowers right through to the bottom of the design. I'm using the Oasis um, flower glue to do this. So I'm just going to put on three pieces and then I will turn it around. So thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed my demonstration, that I've given you some ideas and I look forward to seeing you in 2021. Thank you for watching.